Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dora, and there is a group of people in the world that are extremely introverted and I've talked to some people and some people lead them to score highly in every single introverted cognitive function. These groups of introverted subtypes, they're really interesting because for them the most important thing in life is not energy or a thrill or fun, it is not motivation or passion or energy or fire. But it is quiet, it is peace, and it is stillness. To the introverted subtype, the pursuit of peace is the most important. To have calm around me, that my environment is peaceful, that there is nothing around me that needs to be done, that all projects have been laid down, that everything is clear, that everything is in order, that there is nothing around me that needs to be done. The introverted subtype is a person that escapes from busyness or action or loudness or activity, a person that says no to parties or stimulating environments, a person that says, so oh, I don't really need to go out or I feel much better at my, myself today or no, nah, I would rather take some time to just do something for myself and just to take it easy. Maybe I'll go for a walk by myself or just uh, think. You know, because what should be said about the introvert is the prioritization is not on inner stillness, it is on outer stillness. The introverted subtype is somebody that prefers that the world around them is quiet so that their mind can be as busy as possible. The introverted person is a person that often has a crowded mind, but often they don't even think of it that way. Most of the time the introverted subtype feels that my mind is perfectly full and balanced and nice. And the pursuit of thinking and of the inner world and of fantasies and daydreams and of uh, things that can be explored inside is just so much more interesting, so much more energizing, so much more rewarding than anything that could happen in the outer world. Anything I could do in the outer world is of a lesser priority than whatever it is I could think about or fathom or dream about inside. So it is not that the introverted subtype is a person that completely avoids any kind of fun, any kind of motivation, any kind of control, but a person that pursues all of this inside rather than outside. This typically means the introverted personality type is going to be incredibly stable, incredibly calm, and incredibly clear-headed. While other personality types might sometimes struggle with anxiety or self-doubt or worry or uh, like a sense of rush or restlessness, the introverted subtype is going to feel most of the time in full balance and in full control of themselves in their own inner world. The introverted subtype doesn't really feel that their thoughts are intrusive. They don't really feel that their thoughts are distracting. They don't really experience that their thoughts could ever be something but fun or positive. Most of the time they perceive their own thoughts in their own inner world as something gratifying, something valuable, something positive, something relaxing, something recharging something that gives them energy rather than something that causes them to struggle or feel bad in any way. So, when you compare the introverted subtype, you want to compare them to the extroverted subtype. The extroverted subtype is a personal type that feels completely in the zone at all times. When you look at the extroverted subtype, they never seem to be bothered by their environment. They seem to be a person that really enjoys the moment, a person that really has uh, a good time doing what they do, whatever it is they are doing. They enjoy the moment, they enjoy being out on walks, they enjoy talking to people, most people, they like most people they meet, they find most activities they have stimulating, they laugh at most engagements they have, they find a sense of fun or motivation in whatever it is that is to be done. 
they can seem to enjoy anything from organizing their environment or cleaning the room to going out on a party. Anything can be thrilling or satisfying as long as it is outside. The inner world is intrusive, distracting and in many times overcrowded. Oh, these thoughts, I should not be thinking about this, I should not worry about that, I should not reflect on that, I should not uh, think that way. The extroverted subtype is a person that tends to escape from this tidal wave of inner thoughts and monologues. These uh, uh, things that are said inside that are distracting and taking away from the situation. When they want to enjoy something, when they want to have fun, when they want to enjoy the moment, their thoughts come at them like uh, uh, criticisms, like negativities, like you know it's not that way, you know it's not going to end well, you know it's not going to work out. Those kind of thoughts are the kind of thoughts you want to escape. So the extroverted subtype is a person that struggles with and runs away from the inner world. The introverted subtype is a person that runs away from the outer world. The outer world is often seen as straining, exhausting, pushing them around, distracting, annoying and demanding. Too much to do, so many chores, so many things on my to-do list. As an introverted subtype, it's easy to feel that the world is kind of coming at you and that you're just trying to get away from it. I just need some quiet time, I just need some time to myself, I just want to be alone for a bit because there is so much coming at me, so many thoughts, so many people, so many words, so many friends, so many work co-workers and uh, I don't really want to deal with it. It should make sense that if you're an introverted subtype, you're going to develop an unbalanced because you're going to avoid a lot of tasks that need to be done. You're going to say, I will do it later or I will for now, I just want some time to myself or I just need some time to think. So you'll avoid making decisions on relationships. You'll avoid going out and going to places you need to go to. You'll avoid tasks and chores in the, that come from the outer world because you rather just sit and think for a bit. So as an introverted subtype, what you want to think about is, am I postponing things that need to be done? And should I be postponing things that need to be done? And how long can I postpone it? And if I postpone it, will I regret it later? If there is a lot that needs to be done, do I have time to sit by myself? Or do I need to go out and get them done first? Beyond that, you want to look at a healthy distribution of tasks. So if it is this way you want to live, that's completely fine. But then you need to organize your lifestyle so that you aren't too overcrowded or too overwhelmed. So then you need to set healthy boundaries. You need to explain to loved ones and family members that, yeah, I don't have time right now. I can only meet you once a week or I prefer to be myself most of the time, but it would be nice to meet up uh, once a week or to talk once in a while to catch up. I'm a person that likes a lot of space, I'm a person that likes to sit down and read. These things are important to me and uh, yeah, if they are of crucial importance to you, that's fine. Uh, you, but remember to organize your life around it and find a career that isn't too overwhelming. Find a place where you can have time to yourself and a workplace where people respect your boundaries and talk to your boss or your HR team about what you can do or how you can get more sense of balance in your tasks and what you do. A lot of time these things don't have to mean anything bad. In fact, this can be a superpower and uh, introverts can perform extre extremely well. I was always inventing a new word there, extreme, incredibly, extredibly. <laughs> Anyways, um, what you have can be a superpower if used correctly and if channeled into the right tasks and into a right career or into a right relationship. And a lot of people are going to appreciate you for being introspective, for knowing yourself, for having a lot of knowledge and for knowing a lot about a lot of different things. A lot of people are going to respect your ideas and are going to be fascinated by your inner world and your ideas and your creative process. and. So take pride in it and take pride in who you are and embrace your inner introvert. And share this video with other people who are introverts and who want to know more about that.
Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you all in the next one.